all right? Um, today I want to talk about democracy, and I want to talk about things that a democracy is good for, and things that democracy is really bad at. And uh, particularly, I want to I want to uh, make an analogy between uh, orchestra. If you look at an orchestra, the way that democracy works is that you have an orchestra filled with musicians, and uh, they don't know what to play. So you have a vote. Each person has one vote, and if if uh, 30 members want to play Mozart and 20 members want to play Gershwin, you play Mozart. And the, and the people that want to play Gershwin are going to play Mozart now because they made a commitment to the process to to um, to to go with the majority. And that's how you have a civilizing effect that democracy has when when in those sorts of situations. Um, now it can be a little bit straining on those who are really into jazz and really think in a very jazzy way to play Mozart and it might create a, a bit of an underclass for those that are uh, perennially attuned to a different way of living than the majority but it will work and that's how the system works and hopefully would have something in place to protect the minority from from that sort of thing. Now, what democracy is incapable of doing is in uh, selecting, in deciding on whether or not Mozart actually is Gershwin, or Gershwin is secretly Mozart. Because the only, the only way it can work is you presume a certain reality. You have, to, you have to presume that Mozart is Mozart and Gershwin is Gershwin. That's gets to an identity thing. You have people in the culture that are saying they're not really who they appear to be, that they're actually something else. That's going to destroy democracy, of course, because if if you have uh, the Gershwin people suddenly say, oh, Gershwin is actually really Mozart, and Mozart actually deep down as high as Gershwin. You have stuff like that. Um, it, 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 it really uh, puts a kink in the system because now you don't know you don't know up from down anymore. You don't know right from wrong. You don't know who's right, who's wrong. You, you don't know what you stand for anymore because you've lost your identity. And that's a problem we're having with the gay people is that they're trying to redefine human humanity. They're trying to redefine what human beings are. And that's going to, to uh, not work under a democracy. You need some other system to handle gay people, not democracy. Another, another area where democracy doesn't work and uh, it, it really gets down to things, if you want to really make a, a, a definitive uh, uh, statement on things that democracy is, is lacking at, it would be anything that is mysterious or that can be only known by faith. So for instance, if, if I say, Beethoven, if I say uh, Gershwin is better than Mozart, and you can't subject that to a vote because, again, it speaks to identity. Um, Gershwin uh, has more instruments than Mozart, has modern instruments, you know, chromatic symphony and stuff. But really and truly, to say that Mozart is better than Gershwin because the form is, is much more, uh, more formalized, or to say that Gershwin is better than Mozart because it's way more creative or something like that, you can't subject that to a vote because. Um, it puts one class of people above another. And that again speaks to identity of, you know, you're gonna put, like back in the 19th century we had slaves and people thought that black people were, were inferior to white people. That can't be known outside of faith. You have to just trust, trust us that it's not that way. But it's, it's a tenet of faith that one person isn't above another. We see it in our time with abortion. Some people believe that an abort that 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 a, a fetus is the equivalent of a of a of a postpartum human being, and others see a fetus as not the equivalent of a postpartum. You can't subject that to a vote because that can't be known. You know, uh, Barack Obama doesn't know. He's above his pay grade. Okay, stuff like that, democracy will never do know because uh, it's a mystery, and and a mystery. People cannot be expected to vote on a mystery. 
it, it, democracy can't handle that, and uh, we need some other system, some other entity to deal with those things. And what we've been using is the is the court system to decide these things for us. And that's why um, uh, we need to have an infallible court system, and not just because it's the highest in the land. We need to have one that that speaks with authority, that, that speaks for the future, so that a future court won't overturn a previous court on these issues. And the Roman Catholic Church is the best system to do that.